everybody. This is Mrs. Holdener. I wanted to read another story to you today. Um, the name of the story is Pierre the Penguin, and this story is a true story. So it has um, illustrations that make it not look real, but this story is actually about a penguin and um, what actually happened to this penguin. So um, this is pretty neat. Written by Jean Marzolo and illustrated by Laura Reagan. Pierre the Penguin, a true story. This is the true story of Pierre, a small penguin in a big museum. It is also about the people at the California Academy of Sciences who work together to help him through a hard time. Down at the end of African Hall, past statues of animals, big and small. There's an aquarium, wide and tall, with real live penguins, 20 in all. African penguins don't like ice. For them, a warmer place is nice. Here comes Pam with fish in her pail. The penguins are fed twice a day without fail. Pam enters the tank through the sky-painted wall. A hidden door there leads out to a hall. Some of the penguins look just the same. Wing bands help Pam call the birds by name. So the wing bands tell Pam um, what the name of each penguin is. It helps her out because they all look the same so she wouldn't be able to know the difference. One day, aquatic biologist Pam, observing the penguins, saw one in a jam. Gently, gently, she examined Pierre. His feathers were gone. His bottom was bare. Pierre was afraid to go for a swim. He'd get too cold if he dived right in. How can I help you? What can I do? Pam had ideas and tried the first two. She tried a heater. The vet prescribed pills, but nothing worked. Pierre shivered still. The other, excuse me, the other penguins grew afraid of Pierre. He looked so strange that they gave him a scare. They brayed at him as he shivered on shore. They made him feel worse than he felt before. And brayed at him means they were making loud noises at him, really loud. One rainy day, biologist Pam came up with a new idea. Shazam! My dog wears a raincoat, she told the vet. Could Pierre wear a wetsuit? The vet said, you bet. Pam and a friend worked day and night to make a pattern that fit just right. Then a wetsuit was made of neoprene, the tiniest one you've ever seen. And neoprene is a type of fabric that's really thick and it keeps your body warm. So um, if you had on a suit made of neoprene, you could jump into really, really cold water and you wouldn't be cold. So they made this little suit for Pierre. Carefully, Pam put on Pierre a wetsuit a featherless penguin could wear. Standing on a rock in his new wetsuit, Pierre the penguin looked mighty cute. He felt nice and warm and he wanted to swim. So what did he do? He dived right in. Splash! Wee! Now Pierre stood proud and tall and nobody brayed at him at all. Six weeks went by and then a surprise. Pam could hardly believe her eyes. Not only was Pierre 
no longer cold. He had new feathers. Observe and behold. So she was able to take off his wetsuit. Now warm in water, now warm on shore. Guess who didn't need his wetsuit anymore? Pierre made a nest for his very best friend. Their story goes on. Thanks to Pam. The end. That sure was a cute little story. And I love that that really happened. In real life, there was a little penguin that didn't have any feathers and it needed a wetsuit until his new feathers grew in. All right. Thank you for listening. I will talk to you soon.